All right, Osio Nagod, Wade Blevins Dawaton, and uh, welcome to Beginner Cherokee One here at RSU TV. We're glad that you came back with us today. The Kohik Nakin and Chalaki Atel Koste, our fourth Cherokee lesson, okay? So, uh, uh, last lesson, we were lucky enough to have uh, Miss uh, Peggy Gertie Flute uh, visiting us, and, and she'll be back with us again today. And um, so um, we're going to start out. We're going to uh, start out by using some of the vocabulary that we learned in the last, and we're going to actually um, teach you a, another Cherokee joke, uh, or another joke in Cherokee, I guess I should say. So um, this one, I promise, this one is funnier than the other one. These are, they're all kind of a little bit dad jokes, but, but you know, um, they'll, hopefully they'll help you learn. So uh, come, Idalena, Chalagi, Idiwani. So this joke that we're going to tell today, I'm gonna, we're just going to get right into it, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So um, I'm going to read it to you first, and then we'll go through, uh, we'll go through it. Uh, bit by bit. So it says, John, Jakeskin uno sele, Jakeskin, onti dugwalel he do gesti, naji just de jaksas desti. Skino sele no, ost ye do less done, onti dugwalel wune, do less done, swoot to John. Un cla, un cla, un cla, udane Jakeskin. So um, most of the jokes that, I, that um, we're going to do during this course will involve uh, a man by the name of Jake Skeen. And um, Jake Skeen is, a, a, is actually um, kind of a Cherokee play on words. Jake Skeen, uh, there are lots of stories and stuff that, that involve Jake Skeen. Um, especially, they seem to be really, really popular down um, around Adair County area. And um, Jake Skeen is, is the Cherokee version of Jackson. Um, of course, uh, referring to um, Andrew Jackson, and uh, of course, who was was not um, a popular person for our people. So, uh, to to uh, put it mildly, um, but it also Jake Skin um, can also be a word for like a devil, or um, yeah, like like a um, yeah, a, a devil is probably the best the best way to to describe what what Jake Skin. Is and so uh, there are lots and lots of stories where Jake Skeen um, uh, comes off as being uh, a little ornery or a little foolish or a little dumb sometimes um, in in a lot of the traditional in a lot of the traditional stories. Now this one is not a traditional story, of course, because it involves Dogwalel, which is a car. So <laughs> obviously this is not a an old old story or anything like that. But but Jake Skeen um, is a part of this. So. Um, the first word, of course, John, that's easy. That's uh, John, right? The next word, Jake Skin, we, we learned that that's the Cherokee form for Jackson. Uh, uno sele, so that's he told him. So um, the word order here is um, a, a little different than it would be in English. So John, Jake Skin, uno sele, means John told Jake Skin. Okay, so John, Jake Skin, uno sele. Jake Skin, on deed. Okay, on deed. On deed means behind. All right, on deed. Dokwalel. Dokwalel is a car. There are other words for, for car. Um, Dokwalel is one of the more popular ones. Diktu lane is also um, a really popular one. Um, Diktu lane. Uh, Diktol means your eyes. And then lean means big, so big eyes, dick to lean. And um, dick to lean uh, uh, refers to the headlights on a car, dick to lean. And uh, I, I remember back when I was a little kid, there used to be a Cherokee um, newspaper. Um, I want to say, I think it was the Cherokee Observer, um, but there was a Cherokee newspaper that my grandparents would get. And there was a little comic strip. And um, the man's name in the comic strip was Dick. Two lane or whatever, and so and I never understood why my grandparents thought that was so funny that his name was Dick Two Lane until you put it all together, Dick Two Lane, and I was like, oh, 
big eyes because when they drew him, they drew him with these big, huge eyes. So um, it's kind of a play on words. But um, I, re I remember that, that newspaper from, from when I was a little kid. So, Dogolel or Dictulane or um, some people call it Automobili. So um, we, we always laugh. We, we say that you can Cherokeeize any word by putting E at the end. So, Automobili, um, Wali Madi which of course is Walmart, right? So um, you can make any word Cherokee, just put, put um, E at the end. And so sometimes um, you'll hear speakers, they'll, they'll, um, you know, they'll say, because you know, a lot of things we don't have in our language, and so they'll say things like computer E or you know, um, television E. Now, we do have words for those things now, but, but a lot of people in the communities, they just put them in English and put E at the end, right? So, and then they'll do it and then everybody laughs, you know, so, because it's funny. But, um, so, dogolel means a car, dogolel, and that, that refers to the, the round wheels. Ontid dogolel hi dogeshti. Okay, so last lesson we learned gadog. Gadog means to stand, right? Or it means he or she is standing. Gadog hi dogeshti. That means, that's a command that's telling somebody to hitogeshti, that means you, you stand, okay, in a, in a, in a spot, hitogest, um, or, or it can mean you, you continue standing even, so, um, but um, this is a way to command somebody is like, go stand over there, right, um, so in this case, Jake Skin, onti tokolel hitogeshti, so behind the car, you go stand, so go stand behind the car, na, De just, de just, de just are lights. De just, de jaksas, de este. Okay? Um, look at the lights. Okay? De jaksas, de este means to, to look at. Um, it can also mean to like, um, in, in slang or whatever, we, we, we use this de jaksas, de este. Sometimes whenever we, uh, when people are parting, you know, and it, and it means, um, you know, be careful or look out, you know, kind of thing, or look, look after yourself, you know. De just, de jaksas, de este. So, um, look at the lights. A just is one light. Sawu, a just. But, of course, cars have tall, de just, have two lights, right? So, let's go back. John, Jake Skin, uno sele. Uno sele, Jake Skin, on ti tokolel hi do gesti, na di just de jaksas de esti. Okay? So, skin ho sele no. So, this says, um, um, tell me, and tell me that no at the end, skin ho sele is, is you tell me that no at the end, it just means I'm. I'm continuing, it's kind of the tricky way of making a run-on sentence, sort of. It's, it's continuing a, a, a thought. So, skino no, and tell me, ost, good, y du le stane, we learned du le stane in our last lesson, means work, right? Well, we can use it in this case, too, um, just like we do in English. So, um, tell me if, if ye means if, do lo stane, if they work, ost, good. So that sentence, ki no se no, ost ye do lo stane. So tell me and tell me if they work good, right? Um, ye do ni lo stane. That would probably be better, right? Um, anyway, um, we know, we understand what it means. Ski no se no, ost ye do lo stane. So, onti tokolel wunlehne, wunlehne, he went, right? Onti tokolel wunlehne, Jake Skin. So, Jake Skin, onti tokolel wunlehne. Do le stanes, do le stanes, are they working? Wu te dane asked, wu te dane, John. Un, pla, un, pla, un, pla. Udane said Jake Skin. 
All right. And of course, he was saying, uh, claw, because the lights were flashing, right? And so he was like, yes, they're working. No, they're not. Yes, they're working. No, they're not. Yes, they're working, right? So, so that's the, um, that's the joke, all right? So um, we're going to have Miss Peggy come up, and she's going to tell the whole joke um, in a conversational um, in, in a conversational speed, all right? And then we're going to ask a few questions about it, and then we'll go on with the rest of the lesson. So, um, Oseo, Peggy? Oseo. 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 Osta. All right, so, Miss Peggy, he called it, no, no, I guess, yeah, the, the, the funny thing, right? John, Jake Skin, no sale. Jake Skin, on Tidla, the Golel, with all guesty. No, teachers, they just as tasty. She no sailor, no, or she do love stone. On Tidla, the Golel, who lent me. Do love stone, as who turned down the Johnny. A claw, a claw, a claw. Who done the jack skin? <laughs> All right, what well, don't Miss Peggy? I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, see, it's funnier when she tells it, you know. So, um, so now um, you can at, at least get the joke, um, and uh, hopefully, if you listen to this often enough, you can tell it. Um, you can tell it yourself, right? So. Let's do, uh, let's ask some questions. So here I've put the, the joke again um, on the side and we're gonna ask some questions about this, uh, this little story about Jake's skin in the car, right? So um, it says, Gago on tidla tokwalel wulene. Gago means who, on tidla behind tokwalel wulene who went behind the car. Gago. On tid togolel wulene. And they ask, um, and it says, Jake skin. Jake skin on tid togolel wulene. Jake skin went behind the car, right? Tla John Yik. Jake skin. Onti tokole wule. Okay, next one. Kato usti. Um, let's see. Kato ust. Um, De jok sauce tasty. Um, Jake skin. I believe is what it because it says wook. Wook sauce Wook sauce tane. Wook sauce tane. Um, no, I don't, that don't make any sense to me. <laughs> but the answer says D just the lights. So, um, um, oh, what what was he looking at? What was he looking at? Yeah. Wook sauce day. Yeah. Um, Jake skin. Uh, D just. Wujak um, sauce Right. That makes, yeah, that makes much more sense. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. That was a weird one. On deedless. On deedless. A good deedless, okay? Wulene. Jake skin. Okay? So this is, okay? So we know this is an either or question. So, on deedless. A good deedless, okay? On deedless. A good deedless, okay? A good deed. Means in front. On deed means back, behind. A good deed means in front. Okay. On deedless. A good deed la ke. Wu ne. Jake skin. So did he uh, go behind or did he go in front? On deed. On deed wu ne. Jake skin. On deed wu ne. Jake skin. All right, good. Okay, so this is actually a review of everything that we did from um, the rest of this lesson and the, the lesson before. And we're gonna have uh, Peggy come up again. Um, so um, while she drove all the way um, from um, down in, in uh, Adair County, right? Sequoia County. Sequoia County. Sequoia County. She went, came all the way from Sequoia County. So we're gonna 
make use of her as much as we possibly can. So she's going to read them these, these words for us, okay? Just to remind us of what's going on. Okay. Dinheskeski Kino sela osta Walena Wulena Wulene Udane Utadane Did I need to say them in English or no. You know? Okay. No, right. Cherokee's fine because we have we have them up there and so okay. they can read the, the English as we go. And um, all right, what don't Miss Peggy? Come on. What don't? All right. So um uh, as you, if some of you have, have studied Cherokee a little bit before, maybe you've studied at home or maybe you've studied, um, tried to study on your own or even take an online class or anything like that and you've tried to teach yourself syllabary, um, you, you'll notice that sometimes these, these syllabary characters can make uh, two different sounds. And here's an excellent example of this. So um, for those of you, um, this says ooh. And this is da and da and ne, but you don't pronounce it u da da ne. It's u t da ne. U t da ne means he or she asked, right? So the the first da is a t, and so you just have to learn to to kind of sight recognize what these words were, and we do that in English too, right? Um, we we learn when. An A is a long A, or when it's a short A, or things like that, by the by the seeing the word enough times, and we know how to pronounce it, right? And so this is is very similar. So you you just have to, if you're teaching yourself syllabary, if you're trying to learn syllabary, um, be aware that that sometimes the same character can make different sounds. So, um, all right. So. Uh, we're going to continue on. So we're back. We have this picture again, but uh, there's a lot going on in this picture. So there are things, other things that we can talk about. So, of course, we're going to talk about achuj, achuj. And if you remember from last week, achuj is boy, achuj, right? But right here, this right here, we call unil tana doti, unil tana do. Okay, and that's a backpack or it's something you put stuff in, right? Unil tana doti, unil tana doti. All right. So this is a, a a good good word. Our our language is very very descriptive, so it it tells exactly what a backpack does, right? You put stuff in it. Unil tana doti. Um, okay. So we're gonna say a little, have a little story, and so we have he a a chuj. This is a boy. He a a chuj. He a means this. Okay. Unil tana doti una na a chuj. Okay. So unil tana doti is a backpack. Una is he has, um, but it's he has something flexible. All right. So we already learned uweka. Right, we learned uweka um, when we talked about somebody having an, a pet or something like that. Well, this is una. Um, this is having something that's flimsy or flexible. You could have a sheet of paper, you could have a quilt, uh, you could have a purse, you could have an article of clothing. If it if it's kind of flimsy or flexible, made of cloth, made of paper, made of something that kind of moves around a little bit, um, then you're going to use this word instead, una. Okay? Now, make sure you don't say una 
Okay, because that's like over there. Una. So, una. Unir tene toti una. No, chuch. So the boy has a backpack, right? Unir tene toti una. No, chuch. Good. Kika ke? Kika ke? Okay, it's a color. Kika ke usuit. Kika ke means red. Kika ke usuit. Na. Unil tana toti juna achuj. Okay. Gigage red usuit color. Na unil tana toti the backpack juna that he has. Remember that J sound can be that which who that he has achuj the boy. Okay. So. The backpack that the boy has is red, would be another way of saying that. Giga ge u suit na unil tene toti juna achuj. Okay? And then, of course, we have na achuj na no hi wa i. Remember, now, um, do you remember why it's wa i and not a i? Right, it's because of the direction he's going, right? If he was coming towards us, or if he was going crossways to us, he would probably be ah e. But this indicates that he's going at a distance. He's going away from us, right? Okay? And so, Jundel Kwasti, Ega, Na Achuj, Jundel Kwasti is a word for school. So, Jundel Kwasti. It's uh, like where they learn, jun del coste. Um, there are different ways. Some people say jun del cost. Some pe people say jun de lo coste. Some people say jun de lo coste. So there are lots of different ways. People leave out different syllables in there. Um, but jun del coste is a school where they learn. Ega. Ega means go, okay? Or goes, or he is going. Na a chuj. So, of course, unil tana doti una. So, naturally, jundel kwasti ega na a chuj. He has a backpack on, so he must be going to school, right? Okay, so um, we're going to um, ask Miss Peggy to come up real quick and, and read this paragraph for you, and then we're going to do some sentences, okay? So, uh, let me scoot um, out and make some room on the frame for her. And um, so um, if you'd go ahead and read this, this short little okay. story about this boy. Okay. He are a chuge. Unil tanadot u na na a chuge. Giga ge usu with na unil tanadot ju na a chuge. Na a chuge na no he wa e. Jun de squas the ega na a chuge. All right. Could you read it one more time? Okay. He are a chuge. Unil tana dot u na na a chuj. Giga ge ulsu with na unil tana dot ju na a chuj. Na a chuj na no hi wa i. Jun de squas de ega na a chuj. What dome? What dome, Miss Peggy? Uh, Miss Peggy, do you have another word for, for backpack or, or is that what you would call it? Well, I know really, different communities yeah, have different um, words. When, when you asked me that the other day, uh, I was kind of thinking they got this kind of like a bag, mm -hmm. you know, uh, which really would be more what we would probably use. They go well, they got you know, yeah, book, right. as you put it, books in or something yeah. like that. But it's kind of like a bag. But you could you could put that in, you know, use that because it's kind of like you're putting stuff in the inside the bag. Right, yeah. So I understood what you were talking about. <laughs> That's the main thing is that you understood. But yeah. communities are different in some of the words that they do say. All right. Well, what don't Miss Piggy? Well, All right, so, and, and that's the great thing about, I think, the Cherokee language is because even though different communities will use different words for, for things, um, a, a fluent speaker, because our language is so descriptive, um, they'll know. It's like, oh, well, you know, even though we don't use unil tana toti, you know, we know what, we understand the function of it, you know, um, all, uh, automatically by what the word is saying, you know. So um, I think that that's a, a, a really great um, aspect that we have to our language. 
All right, so we um, had our, our little short story. So let's see how much of the information you remember, okay? So this says, A chu jos, a ge hu jo ke. So that ke, what does that ke do again? Makes it or. A chu jos, a ge hu jo ke. Unil tana do ti, una. Unil tana do ti, una. Okay, a chu jos, a ge hu jo ke. So, boy or a girl, unil tana do ti, una. Okay? That has the backpack. A chu cha dun, a chu cha. Unil tana do ti, una. Okay, a has na the a boy. Kato usti una na a What does the boy have? Right? And here's the, a big long word, right? Uh, just like if you learn Dikalogiski, if you learn how to say that, you feel important. If you learn this one too, Unil Tana Doti, you know, um, a backpack or something you carry stuff in or something you put stuff in. So, Unil Tana Doti, Una, Na Achuj, Unil Tana Doti, Unil Tana Doti. You can do this like you're shrugging on a backpack, right? Unil Tana Doti, Una. Not a chuch. Good. Next question. Um, ooh, giga gays. Another either or question. Giga gays, sakona gay, ke. Ul suit, na unil tana doti, juna, na a chuch. So, giga gays, this color, sakona gay, ke. Sakona gay is uh, blue. I, I, don't, I don't see anything in my, in my vicinity that's blue. But, um, but this, little, this little bar right here, this is blue. Um, for some reason, this is in my, all my presentations, and I don't know why. Um, but it's sakonege usui, right? Gigages, sakonege ke usui na uniltana doti juna na achuj. And we can look at the picture here, and we know that the answer is Giga ge. Giga ge usuit na unil tana doti juna na achuj. Right? Giga ge usuit na unil tana doti juna na achuj. So red colored is the backpack that he has, the boy. So red is the color of the backpack that the boy has. Okay, and here's our last question probably. Hotla, hotla means where? Hotla ega, hotla ega, not a chuge. Hotla ega, na a choose. So where's the boy going? Hotla egg, na a choose. You can leave that ah at the end. Um, I remember as a kid, whenever I was hit the door at my grandpa's house, he'd be hotla egg. Where are you going, <laughs> right? But this is where's he going? Hotla egg, hotla egg, na a choose. And do you, do you remember? Of course. So he's going Juntel Kwasti Ega Na Achuj. He's going to school. Juntel Kwasti Juntel Kwasti Ega Na Achuj. So the boy's going to school. All right? Good. So let's look at another picture here, okay? Ah. Achujas. Achujas. Is this a boy? 
a chu just kla kla a chu ja yi gi it's not a boy okay a ge hu ja u ke hi straight cute little girl a ge hu ja a ge hu ja good and here she doesn't have a backpack but she has um a del tikal tot a del tikal tot okay so um, that's a word for uh, one of the words that uh, for is a uh, for a purse, and it's it's like a, a money bag, right? Because um, <laughs> um, ideally you're gonna have money in your purse, right? So um, although probably if I had a purse I wouldn't, but but you know most people would. <laughs> I'd probably have rocks and worms and who knows what in there. But okay, atelticaltot. Una, okay, huge. So let's see what kind of story we can come up with here, okay? So, he ah, okay, huge. He ah, this is a girl. He ah, okay, huge. He ah, okay, huge. Adel, tikal, tot, una, na, okay, huge. Adel, tikal, tot. Una, na, age huge. So, the girl, una, has a del tikal tot, a purse. She has a purse. So, um, we did this for um, a backpack. Um, so, a del tikal tot, let's, let's put our arm. Here, I'll do it with this one because uh, that way you can see it better. We'll, we'll hold it on our arm, right? Because that's, that's what... Um, I remember um, at church, all the ladies, they have their little handbags, right? And they'd have their little arm through it. And, and uh, so, a del tikal tot. Una, na age huge. So, we'll do that. Julolti. Julolti. Um, we talked about the word julolti before. Uh, when we talked about my cat, right? Miss Cleo, do don't julolti usu it, right? So, julolti usu it. Na adel tikal tot juna age huge. And if you look here, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see there are stripes on this purse, right? Julolti usu it. It's striped. Na adel tikal tot juna age huge. So the the um, the purse is is striped colored um, that the girl has. Okay, julolti. Julolti ulsuit na adel tikal tot juna age huge. Okay. And here we have cloges gadog na age huge. Cloges. What is cloges? If we look at the picture, that'll give us an, a. Um, that will give us a uh, clue. Cloges is a field. Cloges gadoga, standing. Na age huge. Cloges gadoga, na age huge. The girl is standing in a field. Okay? So um, this is a, a little bit shorter story. So um, this is uh, only four sentences long, but. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to ask uh, Miss Peggy to come up and, and read these four sentences for us a couple of times so that you can hear a first language speaker um, uh, use the language. He a age huge. A del de gal dot u na na age huge. Ju lord u su wit na a del de gal dot ju na age huge. Lo gesh ka dog na age huge. He a a gay huge. A del de gulf dot u na na a gay huge. Ju lord ul suvid na a del de gulf dot ju na a gay huge. Lo gays ka dog na a gay huge. All right. What do, Miss Peggy? Mm -hmm. What do? All right. So, um, hopefully, yeah, yeah, and you may not understand every single word of it yet, you know, um, of this little story. 
but hopefully you're picking up, uh, by now you're picking out bits and pieces and you're picking out parts of it. And um, the more you listen to it, the more pieces you're gonna pick out and the more pe pieces you're gonna, gonna understand. And, and um, before long, um, you know, you'll be able to understand the whole thing. So um, just keep working at it, keep going, and, and uh, you'll get there, I promise. Uh, I uh, uh, despaired that I would ever um, be able to understand a whole sentence in Cherokee. Um, <laughs> but, you know, now, um, you know, I, I, um, I understand a lot more than I did, you know, and so um, now whenever I hear people talk, I kind of, um, you know, get the gist. I kind of understand, you know, what the conversation is about. So um, even though I may not catch everything, you know, I'll, I'll at least know whether they're talking about me or not, right? And that's the most important thing. That's all we care about. So, all right, let's uh, answer some questions, okay? So, um, all right, so this is Adeltikal um, Totis Ulnil Tana Totik Una Na Age Huge. So that K, we heard that K, and what does that mean again? Or. Okay, al delti kal totis ul nil tana toti ke una na age huge. So does the girl have a purse or does she have a backpack? Al delti kal totis ul nil tana toti ke una na age huge. Al delti kal toti al delti kal toti una. Na age huge. The girl has a purse. Kla unil tana doti. Yik. Good. This is a, a, a yes no question, all right? So, achujas, achujas, um, adel tikal doti, una, achujas, adel tikal doti. Una. In this picture, achujas, is it a boy? Adel tikal toti una. Okay, does a boy have the purse? Tla. Tla achuja yigi juna. Adel tikal toti. Age huja. Adel tikal toti una. Okay, it's not a boy that has the purse, a girl has the purse, all right, in this picture, all right. Um, I'm not saying that if, if you're a boy and you have a purse that that's wrong. You can have anything you want to have, all right. Okay, so, Kato usti ul suit na adel tikal toti juna. Na age huge. So that's a big sentence. So let's unpack it, okay? Gato usti. What? Usuit. Color. Usuit is color. Na adel tikal toti. Adel tikal toti. Juna. Na age huge. So what color is the adel tikal tot? Juna. That she has. Na age huge that the girl has, right? So what color is the purse that the girl has? And the answer is Julolti Ulsuit Adel Tikaltot Adel Tikaltot. Okay, so the purse is striped. The purse is striped, okay? All right. Oh, here's another here's another picture. So let's let's kind of look at it for just a bit before we um, look at the story. And I think we might have just enough time to get the story and get it understood and have Miss Peggy come up and read it um, before we run out of time. So, um, so ahan achujas achujas kla kla achuja yiki age hujas age hujas. Kla, kla age huja yiki. Askaya, 
Ashkaya. Ashkaya, it's a man. He, yeah, he has a man, Ben, but, it, but, it, but it's a guy. Ashkaya. It might be hard for you to see a little bit, but um, it, it is a man. Ashkaya. Ashkaya. Okay. Ahani. Ahani means here. Ahani. Ashkaya. Wikatok. Okay. So why is this wikatok instead of just katok like we had in this picture? We had katok here, right? Ploges katok. Agehuta. In this case, we have wikatok. So, ahani, here, ashkaya, a man, wikatok, is standing. And we know that he's standing facing away from us with his back to us, right? Because of the we, uh, because of this little sound right here, wikatok. Okay? Here's a new word, otala, otala, otala are the mountains, otala. Or otal, otal, otala. We could talk, na askaya. So the man is standing on the mountain, right? Otala, we could talk, na askaya. Okay? Otala, we could talk, na askaya. Okay? Unega, huh? Okay, that's what this is right here. Some people use the word yegatli, um, which is like a, a quilt, but um, is, a, a, is a blanket or a covering. Um, so again, it's something that's flimsy. It's something that's um, flexible. So we would not use uweka because it's not alive, right? So we have to use una. Unegaha, unegaha, una, na askaya. So the man has a blanket. The man has a blanket. Ooh, anji, usue, na unegaha, juna, na askaya. Anji is one of our few cognates. Cognates means that it's a word that sounds similar in one language and um, to another language. So, anji. So, can you guess what anji might be? Um, sometimes it's hard, you know, if, if, you, don't, if you don't know. I've, I've asked, to me it's very obvious, but I, I've asked students of mine, you know, I think, oh, well, they'll just know what that is, and, and they have no clue. So, anji, orange, anji, orange, ulsuit, orange colored. Anji usu it na unega, huh? The blanket, juna, that he has, na askaya. So, um, uh, orange is the color of the blanket that the man has. Anji, anji usu it na unega, huh? Juna, na. Askaya. Okay? Ooh, here's a big sentence. Anji unega ha una na askaya. Odala wichikatog. Okay? Wichikatog. Um, so um, the man, uh, the man that is standing in the mountain, or the man that's standing on the mountain has an orange blanket. I don't know, I think I might put, might have been better to put that somewhere, eh, I don't know. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna bring up, um, that's actually the end of the story, so we're gonna actually bring up Miss, Miss Peggy and, and we're gonna get her, um, her input on this last sentence. Um, this last sentence, now that I'm like looking at it and saying it, it sounds weird to me. So, so what, how would you say that? This, this part right here where it says, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we would do, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. 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 
จิวก็ตูกจิวก็ there that yeah. makes sense yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that、okay. that makes sense to me all right so can you read the the whole little story、okay. for us so อาหารนี้อสกายาวิกาตูกโอ้ดัลล์วิกาตูกนาอสกายาอูเนกะฮะอูนาอนาอสกายาอันจิอูสูฟิดนาอูเนกะฮะจูนาอนาอสกายาอันจิอูเนกะฮะอูนาอนาอสกายาโอ้ดัลล์จิวกาตูก Ah, that's better. Yeah, can you read it too first? One more time. Okay. Just because I like to listen to you talk. อาหารนี้อสกายาวิกาตูกโอ้ดัลล์วิกาตูกนาอสกายาอูเนกะฮะอูนาอนาอสกายาอันจิอูสูวิดนาอูเนกะฮะจูนาอนาอสกายาอันจิอูเนกะฮะอูนาอนาอสกายาโอ้ดัลล์จิวกาตูก All right, what don't miss Peggy? What don't? And、um, so that's just about all the time that we have today.、Um, so、uh, we, I know this is a lot, throwing a lot at you, but as you can see, we recycle a lot of it. A lot of the most important parts、uh, come up episode after episode. So if you just keep watching, keep listening, more and more of it's going to make sense to you.、Um, so、uh, what we're going to do is when we come back、uh, next time. We will、um, start with this story, and then we'll ask some questions with it, just like we did with the boy and the girl.、Um, and uh, then we will continue on with the lesson. So、uh, I hope that、uh, you got a lot out of today's lesson. And I want to say a special wadon, a special thank you to、um, Miss Peggy、uh, for coming and、uh, visiting with our class today. Uh, I feel like that that's very, very important, and there are a lot of people that don't have the benefit of having first language speakers around that they can hear use the language. So,、uh, to me, it's very important to bring、um, uh, first language speakers for you so that you can hear、um, uh, how it sounds. You know, so、uh, it's just it's just not the same. You know, as a second language speaker, no matter how long I'll speak, or no matter how long I use the language, I will always have, you know, sound.、Um, in some of my words, will sound just a little bit off or a little bit different. So,、um, so very very important to have first language speakers. All right. So until next time,、uh, I want to say what don't nagod and do da da go hani. Until we see each other again. All right, all right. Cheese squat. <laughs>